Hey, hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Vargas Mongo 3435. I'm just going to show you this is the actual PCB, the last uh, final, uh, actually final version of the SPSV version 2.2. And uh, this is the the build from Mr. ST from Australia. He's putting together the, the board. It looks really nice. As you can see, uh, he already installed most of the small components. And I'm not sure we, he uh, uh, he gonna use the screw type um, capacitor or probably he gonna use the other one, the other. So uh, oh yeah, he got missing the this RC uh, snubbing filtering. Oh yeah, he he didn't install that. It takes time to solder all these components. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, well, why he installed the start ground in right here? Ah, that's fine. That'll work. That'll work too. All right, so I'm gonna show you some other images of the. Okay, this is the the PCB before he started to put it together. You can see right here. Oh, he told me that he cut the leads from the bridge rectifier. I think he wanted to have them close to the PCB as possible. And you can see right here we got SPSV version 2.2. Uh, this is the final final version of the PCB, and there is some new stuff that we added to the PCB. Now it has more uh, soldable area for the Faston uh, male connectors. Uh, we do have the new. Uh, we added this uh, the RC snubbing filtering from the AC one uh, secondary from the secondary of the transformer, so it's going to filter out all those uh, i call it the noise from the transformer from the to the power supply and i forgot to mention that this is a, a power supply unregulated power supply uh for audio amplifiers so i forgot to mention that that's really important so oh yeah this is really nice uh, oh yeah he mr st he, he knows how to solder really good i can tell that look at that uh, you see the the resistor this is about three millimeters in length from the body of the resistor is three millimeters this is perfect yeah he, he knows how to solder really good i can tell that oh i think this is on images oh yeah i think he marked he, this one here uh this is fine i mean I, we might for the next uh, order batch orders we, we uh, i think he already increased the outer ring of this uh, pad but this is fine this is perfectly fine so it can be a little larger here, a larger area. Uh, I think he already did it on the layout. So this is, uh, oh yeah, look really nice. Look at this. A three millimeter. We got the jumper, the trim pad, so you can adjust the brightness of the LED. You don't want to see that LED to be way too bright. The silk screen looks really nice. Okay, he started to put together. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The silk screen. And the, the terminal, the European style screw tie terminal, almost matched perfectly right there. I can say, I can tell. Let me see the other images. Oh, yeah, he's putting this is the other image of the PCB. Really nice. Oh, the resistor. I think he got this type of resistor. And what he did is just bend it over and bend it over. Sounds, sounds bad. <laughs> Uh, he clean it up the insulation from here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice Well, let me see. I think I got other images Okay, this is the the first images of the PCB uh, You can see right here. We got the top and the bottom of the PCB Oh, yeah, this is the bottom. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. This is uh, the screw to secure the heat scene and he cut the leads so he can solder this area. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Oh, I guess he cleaned up the area after he soldered. Because I don't see any uh, solder residues, you know. Ah, it's just, just a little bit. It looks really nice and shiny. That's the way it's supposed to be. Nice and shiny. Hey, guys, I, ju I just got to let you know. Uh, when you sold this something you see that it's shiny let it let it go don't 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 mess it out around with the with the solder just let it let, let it cool down and do not move the iron after you see that it's shiny well he knows what he's doing so all right this is another uh, view of the pcb the bottom of the pcb oh yeah the standoff he already installed the european style terminal we got the standoff Oh, he used a, I think this is a cardboard insulator, I think it is. Cardboard insulator. That's a re really nice idea. Cardboard insulator. Nice. Cardboard insulator. Okay. 
Nice. All right, guys. I, I just gonna tell you that uh, this PCB is going to be available for sale. Uh, there's going to be just a small amount, maybe two. The small amount, maybe two. That sounds sounds funny, but we only gonna have two for sale. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get all the components first, and I'm gonna sell it as a kit, as the way you see right now on these images right here on this picture. Uh, I'm gonna sell it like this, but not no not put it together. I mean, you you will uh, solder your own components. You're gonna solder all these yourself. So I'm gonna sell the PCB with the parts. The, the parts already on the on the same package so you can uh, start to put it together yourself because this takes a long time uh, to get the components and stuff like that so you will have everything on one kit so you will have all these components except the the larger capacitor the larger capacitor you have to purchase yourself because uh, the shipping cost of this is for me is way too expensive so I cannot do it uh, I, I get the capacitor from uh, let me tell you let me let me let, let you know where did I get those capacitors? DG key is the one that they have those capacitors. Uh, but also you can use the screw type uh, capacitors. Let me see. Let me show you. I think this is in Spanish. So put it in English. Capacitors. So I want to show you aluminum electrolytic capacitors. And Okay, so we need one that is at least 100 volts. Let me wait for the, the page to be low. Okay, there you go. 100 volts, probably can be 80. It, it does not need to be 100 volts because probably you're, gonna, you're only going to use maybe uh, 60 volt DC. So you can use either, either uh, 8, 80 volts or 100 volts. So that's fine. Uh, let's go with the 100, 100 volts. And uh, 15,000 should be just fine. 15,000 is just good enough. Plenty, it's plenty for an audio amplifier uh, in stock. We got eight of, the, of those capacitors. And this is the one that I purchased. This is the one that fits perfectly on the on the PCB. And I'm going to show you the... Okay, this is the one, this capacitor. And my DG key. So I'm going to show you. It's got like $90. Uh, okay, SPSV prototype one. This is for the first prototype completed the order. Let me show you. So this is the capacitor I purchased, ninety-seven dollars with twenty-six cents. Probably you can, you might be able, uh, you might be able to get them uh, a lot cheaper. So this is the package right here. Uh, they are about to charge me forty-two dollars for the shipping. So that's why I'm telling you that guys, that is for me is way too expensive to get the capacitor so that's the reason i cannot uh, sell the kit with the capacitor because it's going to be way too expensive so you will have all these components you you you're gonna put it together and then you will take care of all the capacitor uh for to inform you you guys to, and let me let me get the uh, okay so let me see i think mr st he already uh, update the pcb I think he already did it. Let me, let me see. Let me see. It's just a minor, minor adjustment for the next order. So this is not okay. AC. There you go. Okay, he got it. He got it, Mister C. He knows how to do this stuff. We have it. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. The LED. Oh, probably he did it on a different file. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah he did actually he did it it's right here this is the one this is the layout so we had the uh, uh, cattle we got the cattle from the LED the anno the cattle and the anno okay that's really nice anno and cattle and uh, cattle and oh yeah perfect and then he, I think he made the pad of this, uh, no, no, not this resistor. Let me see. I think he, on some other images, this one here, oh, this is close to the, let me see, the bottom. So basically is, hold on. Uh, okay, 2.2, this is not this one, it's not this one here. This one here. 
Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh huh. At the bottom. That's the bottom of the PCB. It mo probably this one here. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, there you go. That's it. Yeah, he made it larger. He made it like. Also, there is another trick that we can actually add a copper. Hold on. Give me a second. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really needed. But actually, you can add a little bit more. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think Mr. C he already. I'm gonna leave it like that. So this will be the version 2.3. If I'm gonna order more, so uh, it's just tiny, tiny details on the PCB, and that's it. Tiny, tiny details, really tiny. All right, so so we had this. Okay. I I love the way it looks. I mean. Uh, we spend so much time uh, measurement, uh, doing measurements on the sil and the sorry about that, uh, the macros. We spend a lot of a lot of time on the macros, making sure that they will fit uh, most of the components really well. So that actually, that happened. Really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna upload this video, and I will let you know after I get the the the, the PCBs. And then I'm gonna to start to get the components so I can sell at least two kits. And then let me know if you are interested on this project. So I might order more uh, for you, so you can have a power supply for your audio amplifier needs. All right, guys, have have a good day.